Here now with Storm Team Chief Meteorologist Ashley Gann. It could get wet in some spots tonight, but it's certainly not wet in all areas yet. Yeah, even Birmingham's dry right now. Mm -hmm. Gadsden's dry. And as we take a live look from our Gadsden Tower Cam, though, we're looking towards the western sky. Notice at the top of your screen there those clouds. We call them anvil clouds because they kind of take on the shape of an anvil. But what's interesting to note, those storm clouds are nearly 100 miles away from Gadsden right now. So that's how far reaching these storms can be seen at times. Times, but it does make for a pretty sunset in Etowah County, nonetheless. So, some storms over towards North Alabama, kind of reflecting some of that sunshine in Etowah County right now. A look at the state of Alabama. We are seeing some patches of wet weather to the north and to the south, but I'll focus in on what we're seeing. Look at Coleman right now, all the way down to Summiton. Not only are we seeing heavy rainfall, but intense lightning, and this is all moving east northeast at this point. So, Really, anywhere along Highway 278 towards Brooksville, Garden City, and Warrior, all going to be in the aim of this line of storms here within the next hour or so. As we track this off to the east, here's some other cities and the times of impact. Holly Pond in about seven minutes, Jopa in about 13, Arab in about 19 minutes, and then Sneed in about 30 minutes. So if you look towards the east there, we will see about a half hour window. These storms are moving at about 30 miles per hour, and now we're focused on a cluster of thunderstorms sliding out of Wetumpka. This is going to be moving into Coosa County, could even impact the western side of Lake Martin. So if you live there in Tallapoosa County, the sky is increasingly ominous at this time. Notice temperatures where we have not yet seen the rain holding in the mid 80s, but where rain has been an impact falling into the 70s, 74 in Coleman, 77 in Jasper. And through the early evening, I expect this line to move closer to the I-65 corridor, even moving into Birmingham by around 730 tonight, stretching up to parts of Blount County. And then by tomorrow morning, this is where the story changes a little bit. Sure, we had some scattered showers and storms tonight, but we're going to have much more coverage tomorrow, and it could start as early as daybreak for your Wednesday. Hamilton, even down towards Jasper, northern Tuscaloosa County. And I think most of the rain in the morning will be north of I-20. You can see that here, 845 Coleman, and then pushing east there. But by lunchtime, we're going to see much more widespread rain showers. That reaches down towards Tuscaloosa and Moundville. And then check out the afternoon. It's almost as if the sky just starts falling, and we'll see uh, widespread rain showers. Numerous storms are possible tomorrow. And that will continue through the early evening. Notice temperatures at low 80s tomorrow, but a little gap in the action Thursday, and then a few scattered showers and storms as we round out the week, but not as many. I think the best opportunity for rain is going to be tomorrow. So we could have some impacts for the JSU strong forecast. Temperatures will be holding in the low 80s to upper 70s from about 6 p.m. to 11 o'clock, but they say rain or shine, the concert will go on. Notice the map here, though, seven days. It looks like after tomorrow, some slight improvement through the end of the week and on into the weekend. And that is a look at your storm team seven day forecast.